Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have something that is not vintage. Usually I do vintage toys, but they definitely didn't have anything like this when I was a kid. This is basically a shotgun water gun, essentially. Instead of shooting out a stream of water, it shoots out a big blob of water. I have no idea. It's something with air pressure behind it, something like that. But somehow it literally shoots out a single big giant patch of water. And this one is my friend's and it does not work. That's why I am fixing it on this video. He let some kids borrow it and they brought it back broken. Of course, what is supposed to happen is you put this into the water here. There's a max level. You draw this back and push it forward and that's like a pumping system and then it literally shoots out a burst of water and you can like shoot things like target practice. It's really cool. So let me get inside and let's see what this thing is if it's fixable. There are lots and lots of screws. Some sort of something living in that one and I had to destroy it. I'm going to be worn out by the time I get this thing open. Well, that one didn't want to come out. That's just not all of them. I left two up here. crazy. I mean, I think this is the part that's not working right here. This is some sort of piston that's building up air pressure. And when you suck, you can see here, I think this is your sucking up the water here. When you push this back, you're supposed to be doing something. Oh. And pushing air pressure as you pump it up here, the water and the air pressure to here. And then when you fire, that releases and causes it to shoot out. But I think I have to go further here. So it looks, you know, the trigger is just activating this up here. So I'm going to pull that out before that goes shooting across the room. Let me see here. What's going on? Uh, we have something right here that is broke. There's a pin on something. Uh, well, that don't look good. But I would imagine whatever that is connected to down in there is what the problem is. That means down in here something in that tube.
Okay, well, I guess that is glued together. Yes. Uh huh, okay. Let's see. That's interesting. That's not good. Interesting, but. God, it's got all these little rubber ball valves everywhere. And spring in there. Jeez. That was in there. You had this little here thingy. And then it fit on the one there with the bottom one, the bigger one with the mesh. There's some mesh. So that's obviously intake. And I got a bunch of freaking springs here and a ball. That other one next to it though is not the outtake, but a maybe an over pressure type of thing. Spring goes in there, ball goes there. Then when the other is there, yeah, so that's just a too much pressure. That's just a, an escape valve. Okay. There's another ball valve right here with a spring behind it. There's the ball. You can see the spring down in there. Push that thing. Hey, see that thing moving right there? That be the problem. Like this metal rod here. And push that. Get in there. Push this out. Boink. And that is what broke. Get out of there. I think this is carbon fiber rod. Fiberglass or something. I don't know. Alright, I know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take some of this plastic here. This is some very fast setting plastic. This stuff's pretty old. Okay. Alright, that's already set up, so that's how fast that stuff is. Alright, so got some resin soaked cloth down in there. Then I'm going to do this. Undo this. So now I'm going to just re drill this hole. Now I'm not going to put it on the same spot. I'm going to move it over. There we go. That'd be it right there. That's going to work. So I've noticed this thing has cracks all around it. And this is nylon. And it's the o-ring pushing out on it and since nothing will stick to it for glue i'm just going to use silicone and then i 3d printed this piece 
that can go there. I believe it's going to work. Let me show you what this thing does. This is just the trigger, and this is a valve here. I want to take this off. This seems like this is like a rubber bladder here. You can see this. So what happens is this is connected here. When you pull this, it sucks water up to here. And then when you push it in, it pushes it up into here. And it's under pressure now. Then when you hit the trigger, it squirts out there. And there's a rubber valve there. That. Put this tube back on. I'm going to put a little bit of petroleum jelly on this. Just for good measure, let's put into here. I guess to go in. This one down here somewhere, I believe. There. Pretty sure it goes like this. That spring goes there. And then that ball goes on top of it. Goes there. It's on that side. That spring goes in. And that ball. That. That ball. Now I gotta get that O ring in there without messing it up and without messing up that old ring and then that just fell off okay well okay how in the world do you do that okay different plan and I guess I gotta do this again Bring it in as much as I can. Okay. Not quite right. That's in. That's in. Okay, that shows to be in. screw in this thing. Why would you make screws that are not magnetic? What is the purpose of non-magnetic screws? This goes there. This one goes there. This spring can go back. Seems to be working. So I've restored a lot of mechanical toys and games on this channel and I've always had the comments that said why don't companies make this stuff anymore. So I have to give it to this company that hey they are making something cool like this. I mean water guns have always been a staple of toys. Here's an Intertech water gun. Yes that's a water gun. They don't make things like this anymore. So I think it's really cool that they've came up with something as unique as this and made a new type of water gun. However, this is only three years old and I've had to fix two things on there. Three years, this is 39 years old and I've restored this. 
Is this going to be restorable 39 years from now? However, this thing is really cool and it's very Scarface. Very say hello to my little friend. Let me show you. So I was correct pretty much on how it works. You have to first dip the front end down into the water and you pump several times. And so as you pull it out, you're pulling out that rod that was broken, which draws water in through the little ball valves, but it won't go out that direction. So it gets forced up into the top where it gets trapped in there. And so as you keep doing it over and over, that rubber bladder fills up. And that is what the indicator back here, as that fills up, that thing moves back. And when you finally get it completely full and it won't fill any farther, I can see where this thing broke. Because if you try to shove it too hard, you can't shove out fast enough from that release valve on the bottom and it'll break. To put the back handle completely in after it's completely full, you kind of have to do it slow and let it come out of that release valve up front. Now what's amazing is that very first shot that you're going to get if you pump it all the way up to the top like that and really pump it to its max. If you do that, your very first shot, well that's a whopper. Like, it will literally push you back. Now, of course, every other shot is just like a shotgun shot, which is the normal way this thing is supposed to shoot. And if you don't pump it up towards that full max there, you won't get that big burst at the beginning. You'll just get a whole bunch of the regular shots. I think it's actually a bug, but it's kind of a neat bug that if you overfill this thing at the very first, you can get one hell of a shot out of it. So there it is, the Spyro water gun. And I think someone's already ripped them off because there's something that looks just like this on eBay. I don't know if it's the same thing. I assume it is. But anyway, that's the Spyro water gun. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are the patrons. These are the people helping me out. And these are the people helping me and bringing you the Spira Water Guns. A modern day toy that needed to be fixed after three years. Hope Spira does something about that. Anyway, if you want to become a patron, of course, there's links. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.